the first step in changing the dressing is cleaning off your sterile surface. Once the surface is clean, whoever is performing the dressing change puts on non-sterile gloves. With those gloves, open the dressing kit sent with the weekly infusion supplies from the home health company. The kit contains everything necessary to do a dressing change. A sterile field, sterile gloves, a dressing, antiseptic, gauze, tweezers, skin prep, tape, and masks. The sterile field appears like a folded piece of paper lying beneath the mask and sterile gloves in the kit. Put on the mask. There are not two masks in the kit, but it is best if the patient wears one too. There are folded corners towards the edges of the sterile field. That is the only spot that can be touched. Grab the corner and unfold it onto a table with the section that was touched facing the hard surface. None of the supplies will come in contact with those corners. To not compromise sterility, dump the remaining contents of the dressing kit onto the sterile field. If there are extra supplies desired, like a stat lock, a different dressing or cleaner, or a bio patch, open those packages and drop them onto the sterile field without touching them. If there is no one else around to aid the person conducting the dressing change and sterilely opening the packages, then you also want to rip the various packets of alcohol over the sterile field. The next step, still with the non-sterile gloves, is to remove the old dressing. If there is a bio patch or a stat lock, you will want to remove those as well. If the adhesive is extra sticky, rubbing the edges of the old dressing with alcohol helps it come off easier. After the old dressing is completely removed, it is time to get sterile. Sterile gloves are included in the kit. The one in my kit has aloe, which is not ideal for someone with sensitivities, so we use another brand. Open the package of the gloves. Inside, the gloves should be partially folded upward. That is the part you can touch. Once on correctly, the folded end will no longer be on the outside. If you have one glove already on, the second can be put on without being as meticulous because one hand is already sterile. The gloves can get complicated to put on. Sometimes they break and then you must start over. Wiping your hands with alcohol enables the gloves to slide on easier if you are having a hard time. Now that the sterile gloves are on, the true fun can begin. Grab your preferred antiseptic from the sterile field. As depicted, mom and I have awesome teamwork. The additional antiseptics that are not included in my dressing kit are not put on the sterile field during setup because I help open the packets when needed. This ensures my mom remains sterile. She can just grab the alcohol wipe or the end of the antiseptic stick without compromising sterility by opening the packets herself. The PIC team nurse at the hospital from Florida learned at a conference that alcohol can degrade barred power lines. Since I have a barred power Hickman and I cannot tolerate the common cleaner chlorhexidine, I use betadine and alcohol for my dressing changes. My skin and the line are both wiped with betadine. To remove the gross orange residue, we clean with alcohol afterwards, carefully avoiding the actual line. If the line is stitched in, clean the stitches very well. They can potentially harbor bacteria, leading to infection. The line inevitably has to move around for a thorough clean. That is where the gauze on the sterile field comes to play. Use that gauze to maneuver the line, or the patient can move it also, providing they do not go near the area unsterile. I have a pesky stitch that likes to curl back into my incision near the line site. Mom uses the sterile tweezers from the dressing kit to prevent that from happening. Give the skin a few seconds to dry before proceeding with the dressing change. If applying a bio patch, take it from the sterile field. Oh my goodness, this is one of my biggest pet peeves. The bio patch is not to be thrown on like a pickle on a sandwich. It has a hole and a slit for a reason. It goes around and under the line. You may have to use sterile gauze again to move the line to do this, but do not reuse the same piece of gauze. Next, grab the stat lock from the sterile field. Although my line is annoyingly stitched in place, I like to have the additional support of the stat lock. Place the stat lock and sit the wings of the line in position. Push down to clip it in place. Again, use sterile gauze if you must move the line. 
how cute is my pediatric teddy bear Sawa? Lastly, take the new dressing from the sterile field. That is the portion that will be on the skin. Center the window of the dressing over the line insertion and bio patch site. There is an exit area for the lumens. Hold for 30 seconds or so. The heat allows the dressing to stick to the skin. The paper area on the top portion has the reinforcement pieces of the dressing. The larger goes under the lumens and the smaller piece can be placed on the top. Typically, this is where you would write the date that the dressing change was completed. And the dressing change is a success. I hope this helps anybody curious as it is intended as a resource for the Facebook group that I moderate, IV therapies for mast cell disease and related conditions. So check out the resource list on the blog. And thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.